You've probably heard this before. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. It sure makes meekness sound like a noble characteristic. After looking up the definition of the word meek, I decided it's not for me. My improving alpha mindset pushes me away from embracing a meek outlook on life. Why? Because fortune crowns the bold before the worthy. Quote, Fortune crowns the bold before the worthy. Agona Appel. The meaning of meek. Search Google for the definition of meek and it says quiet, gentle, and easily imposed on, submissive. Merriam-Webster tells us that meek is enduring injury with patience and without resentment. Dictionary.com has this to say. Definition number one, humbly patient or docile as under provocation from others. Definition number two, overly submissive or compliant, spiritless, tame. The meaning of bold. A Google search for the definition of bold reveals of a person, action, or idea showing an ability to take risks, confident and courageous. Merriam-Webster says, fearless before danger, showing or requiring a fearless, daring spirit. Dictionary.com says bold means not hesitating or fearful in the face of actual or possible danger or rebuff, courageous and daring. Meek is a mixed bag. Let's just say I'm not feeling very inspired after reading the definitions of meek. I like the quiet and gentle and patience parts, but that's about it. The rest of what it means to be meek involves being acted upon and accepting an existence as a submissive victim. Perhaps one argument in favor of meekness is that bold people will eventually destroy each other. Then some juicy bites will be left over for the meek to gobble up. Sounds nice, but it still means the meek are sitting around waiting for things to happen. We can be super nice people with great personalities, but if we're not constantly working to improve ourselves and create more value, what's the point? Meekness may be a useful chess piece. Life is a game of chess. Perhaps choosing to be meek at times is useful. As we work towards our life goals, there will likely be situations where we need something from someone else. This person may have the influence, money, contacts, or resources we need to accomplish our goal. Choosing to be meek in certain situations may boost the other person's self-confidence and self-image while ensuring we achieve our goal. In chess, sometimes you make moves that seem counterintuitive. However, these moves can actually create opportunity and increase the likelihood of winning. A bold mindset recognizes the importance of playing the meek card as a temporary tactic which creates opportunity and results. However, a strategic decision is much different than a long-term fixed outlook. Quote, the tiniest of actions is always better than the boldest of intentions. Robin Sharma. The bold seek opportunity. Who do you think is more likely to take advantage of opportunity? The meek or the bold? The meek are trusting in their humbleness and gentleness to guarantee them a great spot in the end. While the meek are sitting around being positive, the bold go out and make things happen. The bold program their mindset to seek opportunity and then act upon it. The meek mindset. The meek mindset asks, how can I remain positive no matter what happens to me? And how can I hold on until the end? This constant search for comfort and security leads to a fixed mindset. The meek have no need for goals because goals include plans of action. If we're just waiting for things to work out in the end, then why not just sit around with positive thoughts? At least we feel good, right? This submissive way of doing things doesn't mix well with dynamic self-improvement. Sounds like a great time for a juicy bite out of the alpha sandwich. Quote, for me, life is continuously being hungry. The meaning of life is not simply to exist, to survive, but to move ahead, to go up, to achieve, to conquer. Arnold Schwarzenegger. The bold mindset. The bold mindset asks, how can I use this situation to advance and achieve my life goals? And what is the opportunity here? Goals are set with plans of action in order to improve, achieve, and create value, a growth mindset. The bold are hungry with a passion which drives them to reach new heights of self-improvement. So 
So why promote a meek mindset? If the goal is to influence thought and action while controlling other people's resources, it is very effective to promote a meek mindset. Subordinates will do whatever and sacrifice everything for those they worship. Take comfort. It will all work out in the end, right? Few questions will be asked. Those questions that do come up will be squashed by other meek people. Irrational and self-sacrificing dogmas can arise with little opposition. Let your imagination wander for a moment and see if any of this sounds familiar. Closing thoughts. To embrace an alpha mindset, we must be bold, not meek. We may be the nicest, kindest, most humble, gentlest, and most all-around swell person in the world. But if our outlook is not based on continual advancement, then what's the point? It's more effective to be bold, seek actionable opportunity, and improve our lives. Life is an exciting game of chess full of choice. We can sit around hoping things will be alright, or we can jump in and create our future. My life purpose is not to be meek. I do not want to wait around for leftovers. I choose to be bold and eat first. Why? Because fortune crowns the bold before the worthy. In motion to improve, achieve, and create value, Able Kinetic.